VMMS Poison. Easy Shed Restoration. Uh, Aerial A3, I think, today. Um, I can't find my mojo. My get up and go is just... I can't find it. I can't find my get up and go. Hang on a minute. There they are. <laughs> oh, stupid me. Right, let's have a seat for a minute. Uh, oh, crikey. The Aerial A3 fairies have been in here and they've stripped the bike down. Look, flipping neck. Good on them, I say. Good on them. Yeah, well, I hope they've put, put the ball bearings for the steering head in the. Oh, yeah, they've done all that as well. Superb. Excellent. Oh, my goodness. Right, what am I doing today? Well, first of all, I've got to tidy all this shite up. It's just too shitey. This is all GameCube stuff. I need to just get get that back in the house, out of the way, so I've got something to work on for a start. Uh, right, I want to get that white panel off of there. So there's a couple of bolts or four bolts under there holding that that panel on. The uh, all the plastics are now literally upstairs. Uh, yeah, up in the loft. So that's all out of the way. I do need to actually astonish. This little baby, as you can see, it's a bit... We'll do that actually in a second. I bet you're sick and tired of bloody astonish, aren't you? <laughs> it is good stuff. I can't knock it. It is fantastic stuff. You can see that. That is pretty ghastly. It's, it's it actually scratched, isn't it? So, don't hold out a lot of hope for it. But you never know. You never know. Anyway, first things first. I hope you lot are all, all well, good and in uh, good fettle so yeah thank you for your messages I do chuckle I do chuckle one comment uh, was um, blah 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 so, yeah great awesome videos blah 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 uh, when are you going to stick some on your head again <laughs> laugh I nearly bought around I tell you okay um, enough being childish I'm still looking for some handlebars apparently Mr. Paul says that they are Rally Wisp handlebars. Now I've had a look at Rally Wisp handlebars, and they seem to be—they seem to ha have more rake on them, like that. Now I don't know. I don't want more rake. I want sort of that rake or, or less sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm still looking for handlebars. I may even, where these have been sanded and the chrome sort of very scratched, heavily scratched, I might take that down to metal. Remove the chrome uh, using Astonish. <laughs> I wish. I wish it were that easy. And uh, paint it. I did paint the CB17, CD175 handlebars. They didn't look too bad. Incidentally, if anyone needs CD175 handlebars, I have a nice chromey set up there. Why I didn't put them on the other bike, I don't know. But anyway, I look around and all oh, up, got a set of handlebars. Drop me a line and uh, I'll get me in and post to you. Uh, right. What am I going to be starting with? Look at that. That's really nice. I do love the way that's come up. That's all good. Top box. I picked up last weekend at a um, bike jumble. Uh, over at... Uh, nice Rickman. Look. Over at Popham Airfield. Now I reckon that will look good. Sat on there, wouldn't it? What do you reckon? Shall we offer it up? Let's put the, let's put the catches on. Made for each other. Absolutely made for each other, isn't it? Oh, did you have to stand on your head to look at that? <laughs> do it again. Go on. No, I'm just joking. Okay, so uh, the fairy had managed to uh, un uncableize all this uh, gubbins, this framework. Let's get down and have a look. The cables sort of sit in these little brackets. There's a couple in there, I think. Let's put some light on. There's one there, there's one there. I'm guessing there's some more sort of up here and, and down and there. But there we are. So all the cables are out. I now need to get that other wheel off, I guess, so I can unbolt these P-clips and just get everything out and stuff. I suppose I could literally wang a battery on it couldn't I and just see if that starter relay uh, fires over 
see if the engine well the engine turns over okay I mean how far do I go uh, with the electrics and stuff I'm thinking of putting on here I need to know what that's putting out whether it's putting it it's a 6 volt stator still or someone's converted it to 12 volt stator I don't know uh, I, I guess a 6 volt stator with a 12 volt battery it would still trickle charge it wouldn't it whilst going along um, obviously if I've got lots of heavy draw going on on there like you know halogen headlights and all that kind of stuff it will sort of deteriorate the battery rather quickly but if I stick with what I know LED uh, then we sh should be good to go forward shouldn't we really okay so I've got a combination of bits and pieces going on haven't I you know is the coil the coil should be sufficient is there a coil <laughs> I can't even see a coil to be honest there isn't coil I don't know not overly confident you know I don't know exactly how these engines sort of uh, work electrically but I uh, can't see cool let's follow the ah I see I see so it's all so you've got the HC lead there goes down into the housing where the stator is so I'm guessing that there's a, there's a coil in behind that flywheel am I right or am I right possibly who knows yeah, I, I do like, like I said, I'm leaving the patina, it's going to be an oily rag. And it, it's just come up really well, hasn't it? I think once, once I've astonished the whole frame, yeah, I, I reckon that if I give it a light misty buff with the old buffer, it will just whittle these brown patina uh, scabs down to bare minimum, won't it? kind of thing anyway like i say good morning welcome to easy restoration in the shed uh we're restoring stuff thank you to chris chris knows i really like restoring old things um and he sent me this through the post bless you chris and that is some of you might know who's who knows what that is guys yeah 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 that's it it's a it's a paraffin blow lamp uh of very decrepit ness, so I will be stripping that down in my spare time and getting that ship shape in Bristol fashion. Now it's all quite complicated how it works. You don't just sort of pump the primer to get the pressure in there and then put a lighter at the end there. Oh no, no, it's not that easy. Those of you that know how these work, don't say a word. I'm going to explain to those that don't, all right? You've got this little well here, okay? And you put methylated spirits in this little sort of moat, if you like, and then you light it. So this is actually flames going on on the outside. Now, the idea of that is you undo your little... Oh, you undo that. I can't even undo it. See, all seized up. That is like a, a breather, if you like. So you undo, you crack the breather a little bit, just a little bit of air in there. You like that. So this is all heating up, and it's heating up the paraffin in the tube here. There's a, the tube goes up through. Where is it? Goes through and sort of coils round, and then back, and then through a jet and then out the end you see so you you're warming all this up and once it, it's sort of you know two or three minutes of warming up you then shut that and you pump this like you're an idiot as you can see mine is very floppy down at the bottom of this plunger there is like a leather uh, tap washer sort of thing and uh, mine's knackered obviously so it needs to be soaked in something if it's still there even i don't even know so you're pumping away this is heating when this is all gone out you then, uh, psh, well, it should, it should actually light itself, I think. Does it? I don't know. Hey, a bit like a brrr, nice blue flame. So, oh, I'm looking forward to doing that because it's really old. It's like me. It's really old, isn't it? Old and scabby. <laughs> now, I've seen some guys clean these up. I mean, you, you, I have to have a look on YouTube, actually, to see what's going on. Oh, there's a the little jet in there. It's a little jet, you can't, it doesn't even, yeah, tiny little hole in there, in there. Yeah, I had to have a look. Just trying to see what the make is. I don't know, can you guys see what that make is on, the, on that label? Veritas? 
made in England. Pink. For best results, pink paraffin. Oh, do you remember the old flipping SA Blue paraffin man used to come round? And you get a litre for your, for your fire in the fireplace there. Mm -hmm. That's going back a few years. Right, really looking forward to that. Stop gassing easy. Go and get yourself a brew. Get your flipping protective PPE on your gloves on. And get on with the bike. I hear you, and I'm going to do that right now. I, I'm so glad I found me get up and go. Right, uh, I'm just going to quickly astonish this front mug guard. I have got the missus's electric toothbrush. I'm joking, this isn't the missus's electric toothbrush. Although it is electric, this is from... Mr. Andy McCall, thank you, sir. You are a diamond. You saw me struggling there with my little old toothbrush, wherever it is. There it is. And he said, "Do you know what? Uh, I'm going to send you something in the post. A little bit of a, a little bit of a toy to play with. And look at that. It's interchangeable heads, ladies. You're familiar with that kind of thing, aren't you? Oh, that looks a bit rough, doesn't it? Oh, oh, that's nice and smooth. That's a nice one. And that's a combination: hard, soft." Look at that, if anyone else wants to get one of these, uh, just, just write on a postcard to Mr Andy McCall. Uh, <laughs> please can I have uh, a lady's toothbrush, please. Now that's what it is, it's a, a cleaning battery, a cleaning brush, all purpose household cleaner, oscillating brush for high speed cleaning, interchangeable brushes, comfortable hand with non-slip grip action. Okay, and there it does say, you know, um, where are we? Fixtures and fittings and all that kind of stuff. Let's turn that flipping light off. We're getting glowing, don't we? There. Ideal for use on. It doesn't actually say motorcycles. Or or blow lamps. But we get the drift, don't we? Anyway, leave me to it. I'm just going to whiz, whiz over this. Oh, uh, my God. And see if we can bring it back to the land of the living. Right. Let's Scooby do it. With the angled head, it makes it so much easier to get in there, in a flush sort of way. Right. Also saves on wrist action, you see, so I can use that for other things, probably, perhaps. Portable A's batteries, ladies. You know what they are, don't you? <laughs> breaking the law, breaking the law. I'm right on the, I'm right on my tip. Alright, let's have a go at this nasty bit. It's starting to sound like my knees, wants a bit of oil, I think. <laughs>
You don't wanna Here comes a knife Try them all out, why not? Here comes a knife Alright, let's have a go at this nasty stuff. Quite therapeutic, Andy. Thank you, sir. Right, pause it there, and we'll wipe it off. Right, let's have a let's have a willy wipe. Just do that side first, as that's the bit I did first. <laughs> really? Oh, I haven't really done this part yet. I've just literally it's got a bit of muck on it, hasn't it? Right, let's have a look in here. Because this is quite gam. Still got a little bit of plastic rust on it, but. I might just try my toothbrush again in a minute and see what uh, what that can do for it. Right, let's have a go down the top. Beautiful. Look at that. That is so much better than what it was. Uh, and here's the bad side. This was the part I was concerned about. Oh, Christ. Oh, let made me frickin' jump then. <laughs> Put my elbow on it, arm on it. Wow. You gotta agree. Hey? Worth every penny. The only trouble is I'm nearly out. I'm nearly out of the stuff. Right, I'm gonna do the other half now, this half. And uh perhaps give the underside a bit of a tickle and then we'll uh, we'll crack on with actually doing something constructive. <laughs> Not bad, is it? Mm -hmm. Right, well that's come out. Rather jiffy, hasn't it? So that can go upstairs into the loft. That's all good, all nice and clean. Now, when I, when Paul gave me this bike, there was two boxes of bits and pieces. Let's turn that off a minute. Here are the two boxes. And there's the fuel tank. Let's get that off of there. I have freed off the fuel tap. We pull that out, that chrome circle there, look. And fuel pisses out everywhere. So yeah, that works. <laughs> Let's have a delve into these two boxes and see what we have here. All right, we got a bit of bit of fuel line. Got my cock ring. That's that's there. <laughs> got a spare elastic band. The old drive belt that needs a bit of a clean up, doesn't it? And I don't think we're quite finished yet with the astonish. Let's get it back out of there because I've just spotted some uh, hen's teeth. There's one, two, and those of you that know, know that these are very hard to get a hold of. That one's missing that piece there. I wonder if that's in the box. And we've got another one here. That one's all. So we've got three with backing on. And one without. Okay, we'll keep an eye out for that other one. But yeah, get get the old astonish out in a minute, and we'll give that a once over just to clean them up. And then they can go in the drawers. This is the drawers so far. As you can see, lots of little nicky nackies. Even the batteries in there. Battery, you say? <laughs> oh yeah. And the pedals. I didn't. I didn't clean the Astonish out of the grooves there, so that all need cleaning out. So it's all, all nice and good, isn't it? It's all getting there. Bits of bits of handlebar, brake lever and things. And everything else sort of cleaned up. Okay, let's move back over. What else have we got in here? Well, that's jolly nice, isn't it? 
nice bit of nice bit of BSA rubber, 51 year old or older, perhaps 52. No idea where that goes. Any idea where that goes, chaps? Yeah, drop a comment below if you do, because I don't. That needs a bit of a bit of a toothbrush jobby, doesn't it? What the hell is that? This looks like that stuff that you you can put plant, you know, false plants in, you know, stick it into that. Oh, I forget what it's called now. But that is proper. Yeah, that's not good, is it? it would that be a torsion bar bush, perhaps, or would that be the old front suspension springery dubery? thingy majiggy there's not a lot of compression it, I'm not going to throw it away because it's not the end of the job is it but if you know what that is let me know oh my days ok that's obviously been compressed on that side a lot more than it's been compressed on this side so I'm guessing let's have a look around here let's turn this around right so this is a two part so I reckon I reckon that was the top piece, and that piece was the bottom piece, don't you? What do you reckon? Look at that, I've balanced that on there, just first go. I need a round of applause. Right, I reckon, yeah, that's that's the old one of those. <laughs> that's terrible. Okay, what else do we have in here? We have uh, one of those. Mm, yeah, no idea. But I'm, I'm sure when I take the bike apart, the engine apart or whatever, I will see where that sh should have, would have, could have gone. Right, carburetor piece. What was it? Petrol cock thing. I don't know. What does that say on there? Don't know. But whatever's stuck in the middle of there is proper, proper stuck, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, so a few parts in here I know. There's the spare chain. I've got a feeling that the, 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 the guy who put this chain on had to use two chains and make sort of one out of the two. And this is like what's left over from one, I guess. Cool, six mil chain. Yeah, I know some parts are for the decompressor, which, ah, that's, that's it, isn't it? So how would that, oh, I see. So you'd have your cable through there, and that would open up to let the air out, let the compression out, and then obviously when you let go, it closes up and the air doesn't come out of that hole anymore. So that would have gone, yeah, where would that have gone? Yeah, down in down in there that that's been just put, plugged off with a bolt so that would have been in there to to decompress and allow you to pedal like an idiot and then let go and then off you go so that's I'm just going to clean that up in the paraffin just because let's, let's plop that in there now I have already put the old paraffin blow lamp in there so that's going to have a bloody good soak Madam, so let's, let's plop that in there. What else have we got? Oh, crikey, we've got another one. We've got a pair of these. Now, where the hell would they go on this bike? I don't know. I don't know. But they're in pretty good nick, and they're still sort of... They're still very pliable, so... I don't know. I don't know about those guys, so... Uh, this is a halogen something or other. 12 volt, 60 watt. Yeah, I think this is like a fog light sort of type lamp, isn't it? I think that's just been bunged in the box. I've got a feeling then that that would be an original headlamp. That's a bit weird, isn't it, to have it on skew whiff or shouldn't it be skew whiff, I wonder. No, I'm not going to force it. Yeah, it's soldered there. So that would have been at that angle, wouldn't it, for a, a reason. Single element, right? so it's just headlight. Right, what we got on here then? 6 volt, 15 watt. Yeah, that's the original headlamp bulb, isn't it? So this must be the tail lamp. Yeah. 6 point something volts. 
6.8 is it? 6 watt. Uh, as we know, my one's now LED. So we've got an assortment of nuts and bolts. I'll get those out in a minute. That's obviously seen better days. I wonder if that went round the top. Nah, it's way too big, isn't it, for the top of there? Sort of thing. Mm, don't know. I'm just guessing. Right, we've got one of these. Okay. You guys probably go, oh yeah, that's so and so. Yeah, that's, that, go, that goes there and that goes there. Oh, crikey, what up, Murph? Exhaust gasket? It's too big for a manifold gasket because the manifold on this copper is tiny. Absolutely tiny. All right, what we got here? More nuts and bolts and screws. Let's lift that up and have a look. Oh, look, Mr. Paul. <laughs> right, that's for the old wingy mirrors, isn't it? Unless you want these ones, Paul, and I'll have those other two that I've fished out for you. There, that. it's up to you. Let me know, mate, in the comments, but I'll give us, give us a buzz. And uh, I'll run them over to you. Perhaps, uh, yeah. If you want these ones to clean up, please let me know. Right, what else we've got under here? That's pretty much it, isn't it? It's um, odd, odd connectors and all three. So that box can be put into a smaller container. And I can get rid of that. Okay, what have we got in box number two? And we have an assortment of cables. Well, that's jolly good. Yeah, that needs a bit of a clean. We've gone through there. Guys, if you've got something nice like this going on in your cables, but the cables, after a good oil, are absolutely fine, just get yourself some heat shrink. You know, overlap it an inch either either end, just heat shrink it on. It's, it's good as gold, and it'll keep that oil in there. I've got another horn here. Horny. Now, is that 6 or 12? 12. Should give it a blast. See if it works. Let's put that down there next to me cock ring. <laughs> let's put it in there, give it a bit of a bit of an echo chamber. Right, let's have a bit of a bit of twelve voltness. And a bit of a bit of negatory, good buddy. No. Stop being a sausage. Right, we'll dab that one. Dab that through there. Like so. Let's give it a beep, 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 beep. Hey, hey, get up there. Go on, son. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Cheers, Mr. P. This box of goodies is coming to fruition. I managed to pick that one up yesterday off of uh, an old scooter that I found lying around, and it just sounds really weird. I'm not going to do that now because it'll. It'll bore you to death. Anyway, I need to put that clamp back on in a minute because I'm trying to salvage this battery. Right, what else we got? HT lead. What's that sound there? Hey, hang on a minute. Hey, hey. <laughs> Aston Martin HT lead. Would you add a beneath that? So that must be carbon in there, mustn't it? Yeah, there's no copper, no copper in there. It's all carbon. That's why it's ultra flexible. I've got... Aston Martin HT lead on my bike. No. <laughs> what else we got in here? Oh, look. It's a Rolls Royce HT cap. <laughs> and lead. This feels like it's got copper inside it. Yes, it has, because it's all stiffy. Stiffy, stiffy, stiffy. All right. We've got in here another little bit of. Really oldie fashioned HTV. I reckon that was probably the original. Looking at the size of that diameter, that is absolutely tiddly up to that. Was that one? Aston Martin, lads. Oh, right, that's uh, that's one of the electric electric cable okay, made up for this. Electric system, got some P clips in there, they're always handy, aren't they? P clips, and just generally 
odds and sods, aren't we? You know what that's for? Well, that bit goes on the top of your sparky plug. That bit, and then obviously you crimp that around. Around the outside, around the outside. What's that? It's a little bit... A little bit of moth-eating, but yeah, still rubbery. Rubbery, thank you very much. Anything else exciting and worth digging out in this? Have a look. Not really, got a little bit of, bit of heat shrink, another peak clip. This little bracket, assortment of nuts and bolts, which is always good, isn't it? Right, okay. That's about it, I think. A little cable boot. Obviously a bit perished, isn't it, there? Again, if I if I would need to use that, you see, because this base part is fine, and it's only split where it's really thin, I'd then put a piece of heat shrink over the top of there, you see, and then shrink it down Well, once it's in situ. See, you never throw anything away. You never know. Yeah, cool. Little jubilee clip there. And that's it. Right, that's the look in my box. Well, as I'm keeping the, these episodes fairly short, I've not really done a lot today, have I? Apart from a bit of astonish and, and fanny around and talk a lot of ball, which is part of the course. Uh, I'm going to wrap that up there. That's his, this will be the end of episode four. So it's about 30 minutes long, I think, something like that, 25, 30 minutes long. And uh, episode five, we'll get into the nitty gritty meat of it. But every restoration is a tear down, isn't it? And it's a sort parts out, clean parts, prep parts, get them stored away, get them in the little little nooks and crannies uh, before you, you, you get on with the big stuff like stripping the engine, engine apart, getting the frame apart and, and wheels apart and all that kind of stuff so we're almost there aren't we for that kind of thing alright cheers for looking, like I say Paul if you want these originals please drop me a line, they are a bit crusty but nothing that Astonish wouldn't clean up eh? Yeah, that, that one's seen better days. Chrome's come off of it and all that. If you want the new chrome ones that I've got up there, I've dug out for you. Please let me know. If you want these original ones, please let me know. Right, mate. Okay. Uh, like I say again, Andy McCall, cheers for the missus' toothbrush. Superb, isn't it? It actually works really well, actually. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, drop a comment below, please, if you know of any of these parts, what they do. Uh, yeah. Thanks for looking, and I'll catch up with you guys soon. Take it easy.